Okay, so I saw this post on Twitter, and I thought it was interesting enough to respond to it. So it basically reads, "I'll never understand her fall off," and this is in reference to Katy Perry, because she literally had the whole world in her palm. This was in reference to Katy Perry becoming the first female artist to surpass four billion views on YouTube. And here's the thing: at one point, Katy Perry was truly on top of the world in terms of her success. But I wouldn't call that having the world in the palm of her hands. And as for falling off, I strongly disagree. Falling off to me is like. Having a really super huge hit song for a few months, or like maybe like half a year, something like that, and then all of a sudden, you like we hear nothing from you again. Think of songs like um "Sixteen Years" by Lucas Graham, um or "Rude" by Magic, or "Watch Me Whip Nay Nay Na 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 Na" from Silent Ho. Uh, all the numerous hip hop artists who ha- who are classified one hit wonders.、Uh, Adam Lambert, for a period of time, he had like two hit songs, and then just kind of fell off. Nelly Furtado,、uh, she had a huge year in two thousand and six and in two thousand and seven, and just fell off. Maybe Kesha, but I feel like Kesha mostly just faded into the background. You also have songs like um. Um, Heat Wave. It, it, it's it's one of the more recent songs that kind of just fell off. I don't even think a lot of people know the people who made that song. That's how much they fell off. Like they had a huge song, and then they just fell off. The reason I think Katy Perry hasn't fallen off is because her music was made to be very palatable and mostly inoffensive, and something that appeals to the the masses, like the. Big, big masses, the majority of casual music listeners, and that's not a bad thing. Obviously, I love pop music, but a lot of her hits are tied to joyous moments in our lives. They're em- they're empowering, they're lovely, and her record label also made sure that she was basically inescapable for the better part of five years, maybe six or seven. It didn't matter who you were, what kind of music you listened to or enjoyed. You knew something from Katy Perry, whether you wanted to or not, because her music was played everywhere. And what made what happened with that is that, like, because her music was so ubiquitous, it was played everywhere. Every like moment of your life for the past like five years, if you could remember anything, I remember when I was younger, like. <laughs> If I had a happy time, if I had a bad time, there is a Katy Perry song that I can tie to. That's how ubiquitous she was. And because her songs are tied to some of the most consequential moments of our lives, growing up, you know, a young adult up to teenhood, and they were so universally inoffensive, most of them, especially her hit songs. I feel like as we even grow up, even though we don't listen to newer Katy Perry music. The songs that we enjoyed when we were younger, we will keep playing till we get old. And so, with that in mind, like falling off, like with Katy Perry as an artist, is just something that I don't see for her. There's always going to be that nostalgic feeling there when it comes to her music. You know what I mean? Even if you don't know. Her name. If you're somebody who doesn't listen to pop music and you don't know who Katy Perry is, or you don't even know what she looks like, you still definitely know the chorus to some of her biggest hits, like California Girls or、um, Teenage Dream or、um, Part of Me, Roar, Dark Horse. Some of her biggest songs, people know the chorus to them. So yeah, I don't think Katy Perry can ever be known as an artist who fell off, like truly fell off. Even in her supposed flop era, she's making twenty-five million dollars a season on American Idol. Like, which flop can do that? Like, I would like to know. She's making twenty-five million dollars a year, I think, or per season. On American Idol, from American Idol, ho- however you say it, and she's also had like a successful residency in Vegas. 
an artist who has fallen off wouldn't be able to do what Katy Perry is doing right now. I feel like the right thing to say is that Katy Perry more so faded slowly into the background. But yeah, she's always there. She's always going to be there. And I think that's a testament to just how much of our lives and our memories are tied to some of her biggest hits for multiple years in a row. So I don't think that Katy Perry has ever and will ever fall off. I just don't think it's fully possible for someone like her whose music has been a soundtrack of our lives to fully fall off. Yeah, let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. Thanks for sticking around and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.